Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, so I wanted to show you guys a quick video. Um, uh, this is a kind of on a, a few other videos I've shown with the uh, interference issue when charging the these uh, Beofang UV 5G Plus radios through the USB-C port. It knocks out other radios. I did get these two radios in the mail. These are um, the 5RM. These are 10 watt ham amateur band radios um, and these have the same 5RH battery um, now the 5RM radios these right here they're 10 watt amateur band ham radios the 5RH version of this radio it's identical to this it's also identical to that UV 5G plus right there the difference is is the 5RM is a 10 watt the 5RH is an 8 watt. Now this two pack, I got these two radios. You can see the batteries are identical. I got two belt clips, two antennas, and two wrist straps. The manual, and then these two little privacy style mic um, and ear pieces. These came with a charging dock right here. So I already have one plugged in. Um, I bought these radios, these ham radios. I do not have a ham license. I do uh, plan to get a ham license in the next few months. But I bought these for the charging docks because I was hoping that it would eliminate the issue with these, these batteries where when you charge these batteries through USB-C, it kills every other radio. And I can show you guys that issue. Just to show you guys, this model of this battery is a bl 5RH. These are exactly the same too. So right here, this one is a BL5RH. This is the one that came out of the 5RM. This one right here is a model BL5RH. You can see the print is different. The print on the 5RM radio batteries is a lot larger. This one's a lot smaller, but they're the same. This is the, uh, 5RH right here. So it says ID 2AJGM-5RM and it says amateur radio at the top right where the belt clip is right there. This does not have an orange sticker anywhere. Uh, most orange stickers will be at the very top where my thumb is about right here somewhere. If you look at this one, this is the GMRS, GMRS version and you can see that sticker. It says GMRS at the very top. This one right here is 2AJGM-5G+. So these are FCC compliant. This one's FCC for amateur band, 2AJGM. As you can see, 2AJGM. They both have 2AJGM at the front. The difference is this one's dash 5RM, that one's dash 5G+. Like I showed you guys before, when you plug this battery in from the UV 5G, if I push this button, it will turn that light on. So as an example on this radio, do do is it responding to the repeater? Whiskey Romeo Whiskey Quebec 679 radio check. See how I turned it on and it killed the reception. Turn it off. You see it's flashing. It's not receiving any audio. I appreciate the radio check. Thank you so much. So as an example, the why I bought these 5RM 10 watt ham radios was for these charging docks. These charging docks, you can charge these batteries in the charging dock without the radio. You can charge it with or attached to the radio, dock the whole radio, or you can charge them through the USB-C. But I've shown a lot of issues with these batteries being charged with USB-C, but 
just put the battery on there just to show you guys this is the GMRS radio that I took the battery out of this dock charging the battery does not interfere hope everybody's having a good afternoon out there everybody it doesn't interfere at all so for anybody that has these UV 5G Plus radios, see, UV 5G Plus, they're identical. Back at you, Antonio. WRZJ 534, Adam and Alfred. See that? They are identical. There is no differences. Um, and on top of no differences, I'll show you an example. This one's already on. This is the 5RM. This radio is actually unlocked. Channel mode. Frequency mode. 467550 is a GMRS band. And it transmits. And then if I go down. 1, 4, 5. Oops. It's in channel mode. 136, 125, there you go, that's a ham band. It's also transmitting. So this radio, this 5RM 10 watt radio, it is actually unlocked to work on ham bands and GMRS bands. It is not legal to use a ham radio on a GMRS band, even if you have a GMRS license. Um, but it does respond. So the reason I purchased these radios was only for these docks. It just happens that now I have two more batteries um, that I can use on my GMRS radios because the UV 5G Plus does take that. I was looking for a solution to charge the batteries without interfering with other radios, especially when I need these radios for communication purposes. Um, and that is the solution. The solution is to actually utilize a charging dock. This charging dock says 5RH on it. So this charging dock was originally made for the 8-watt Baofeng 5RH radios. This charging dock works with the 5RM because these two charging docks came with these two batteries today. As you can see, works with that one. And it also works with the GMRS version, which is this guy right here, because they are identical. And you can charge this one while it's on. You can charge them on the dock while the radio's on. Whiskey Romeo, Whiskey Quebec, 679. Thanks, Adam. Uh, hope you're having a good rest of your day, man. So, this radio doesn't receive very well while it's on the charging dock and it's on, but that's not a big deal. You could just turn it off. The only thing I was concerned well, about... Right, my brother. Uh, I broke the charger base to uh, one of my radios, but able to take back to contact. That's the only thing I was concerned about. I can actually charge these batteries without it interfering, and I can listen. Oh, I got you, Adam. You can see it's a little staticky, but it's not causing complete interruption and killing the radio from receiving. So I just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys that. If you have any questions, guys, don't hesitate. Just leave a comment in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you guys. And um, also, um, I will have a YouTube video showing this in way more depth, showing, you know, charging both the 5RM batteries. These batteries actually do not cause um, as much interference. You can actually plug these into USB-C port, and within about 10 inches of this, radi this battery is when it kills um, this radio. So... It only kills handhelds on these newer 5RM battery uh, radios with the 5RH battery, so not a big deal.